Hey guys, today we're doing a viewer requested video. Someone had asked a really good question uh, on the PID Auto-Tune video I did recently. I talked about the connection between the laptop and the printer to do all those commands. Also did the same thing with the Easy ABL install. And someone asked, well, I'm kind of a newbie. How do you get that connection going between the laptop and the 3D printer? Good question. You know what, I, I, I like questions like this, and you know what, we all start off as newbies at some point, so nothing wrong with asking the question because I'm happy to explain it to you. So I've got my Windows 10 PC here. Sorry, I don't have a Mac, so you guys with a Mac, uh, I don't know what to tell you. Um, so what we'll do is I'll show you using, well, there's some free software available like Pronterface, so we'll use that. Uh, I have Simplify 3D, which is the paid software, and then there's also, of course, OctoPrint. So that also has a terminal window so you can communicate and talk to the printer. So I'm gonna go through all of those and show you how it's done. You ready? Let's go. Hey guys, welcome to Where Nerdy is Cool. This is my channel where we cover where all the things I find nerdy. So before I start this video, I just want to give a shout out to my first Patreon patron. Uh, I hope I don't maul your name here, but uh, Jorgen Linkus, he is my first Patreon patron and I yeah! thank you for becoming one. And if you guys wish to support me, I'll put the little thing on the bottom of the screen here. If you go to www.patreon.com forward slash where nerdy is cool, you can do the same thing as Jorgen has done and you can support my efforts here on YouTube. So thank you. Um, well, now that I get that covered, hi, uh, my name is Paul. If you're a regular visitor, nice to see you again. If this is your first time here, hey, welcome. So what we're gonna cover today is, and I got multiple cameras going again, and I got the screenshot software running. So we're gonna talk about how to connect your computer to your printer so you can send it commands and, well, do whatever you have to do to it. So the first thing I am going to cover is the free one, which is called Pronterface, which is what I have right here. And I got a screenshot and let me bring you to the web page. The website is okay. I mean, um, there's a download link where you can download the latest release and it'll bring you to GitHub and eventually you'll get to a zip file, which is where you'll unzip it and, and run it. But uh, I'm assuming you could go that far. If not, let me know in the comment section below. So I've already have it installed and I have a shortcut here on my desktop. And this gives you an idea of what Pronterface is all about. So a couple of things that you'll want to make sure first is I have the USB cord going from my laptop into my printer. And now that I have started the program, it remembers that I've been connected before. So the nice thing here is when you look under the ports, it's only going to show the available port. Um, and then uh, this is going to be the baud rate. This is the speed at which the connection goes between the computer and the, uh, um, the board inside the uh, uh, 3D printer electronic box. So on the CR10, I know, for example, that that is 115, 200. Now, you may have to check, you may even have to Google this to find out what the speed is or the baud rate is on your particular printer. But on this one, I know, for example, on my CR10, um, this is using COM port 4, 115.2 and I'm gonna hit connect. And way over here, we're gonna see all kinds of stuff. And if I wanted to send it like an M501, just to see what the settings are, and I hit enter, there we go. So I have basically all the settings uh, of my 3D printer has shown up on the screen, letting me know my e-steps and, and stuff like that. So that is basically it as far as Pronterface. I use this, this was recommended when I was putting together my FT5, and that's how I would uh, go through and on the menu over here is how I would move the, uh, the print head back and forth, up, down, uh, uh, manually move the extruder. That's what all these things are gonna be used for. Uh, it, it's, the price is free. It's so, I mean, it's okay. Uh, then you can, down here is where you set your bed temperature off or on, and then the, you could set the uh, temperature. So that's where you would do all of those things. Now this one is free and, you know, <laughs> like some things you get what you pay for. Uh, the other piece of software I was hoping would have something along this line was Cura. I mean, Cura is the Ultimaker product, but I mean, everyone's using that thing because it's free and it does a really, really good job. But Cura does not have any kind of machine tool interface like this where you can go through and manually move things. I think their higher end product does, but 
what it boils down to is that the Ultimaker printers uh, generally don't do anything via USB. So that's the reason I was given why they generally don't have that. Now, maybe someone in the community that does plugins for Cura may do this in the future, but you know, we shall see. So unfortunately, Cura is off the table if you were looking for a Cura to do something like that, at least as of this filming. So the second program, as I skip through here, let me get out of Prana Face, is Simplify 3D. Now, I don't want to get into a big debate about what's better, Cura or Simplify 3D. I've had Simplify 3D for several years, and you're going to have, this is like a Chevy versus Ford discussion. Uh, the Ford people don't understand why the Chevy people get out of bed in the morning, you know, and vice versa. So some people really love Simplify 3D. Some people say it's not worth spending the money on, especially when you have Cura or Idea Maker or some other stuff out there for free. We're not going to go down that road, but what I will tell you is that I have enjoyed Simplify 3D. I like the manual support features of it, and I just like the idea that there's a few more tools in here than my free Cura one has. So what we have in Simplify 3D, now that I get off that rant, uh, we have under Tools, we have Machine Control Panel. And if we go in there, and it looks like it's already talking to my uh, printer. Let me hit uh, Disconnect here. So right there, it's picking up the only COM port I have available because it's plugged in right here. Uh, 115, 200, it knows that that's the uh, speed that the uh, printer connects at. And if I hit connect, voila, there it is. So the other thing in here is if you uncheck verbose, you don't get this constant pounding of messages going across the screen. So that's just one thing to be aware of. But what's really powerful about this in here is you can go under the jog controls and remember the graphic we had under uh, uh, Prodder Face, uh, we have this and I, again, this is me, my channel, my personal opinion, but uh, I just like the way this is laid out a little bit better. And then right through here, you can go through and you can turn on the extruder off or on or the heated bed. Um, there's a lot of ability to go in here and do adjustments. And you may remember this is pri primarily what I used when I did the Easy ABL when I was moving the nozzle around up and down to get the Easy ABL calibrated. So this works super well. Uh, if I go back under my communication tab, if I, uh, there we go. So if I do uh, M501 in here and hit enter, there's all my stuff. And then what I could do is uncheck verbose so I'm not getting these constant messages um, back and forth. And I can scroll through here and, and see all the settings on the printer just as I did with Printerface. All right, I have Octoprint up and running on the uh, interface. And of course, what I need to do now is uh, I have to unplug my USB cord. And I need to plug that into my Raspberry Pi, which is running my Octoprint. And you're going to see that this is going to cycle the electronics. All right. And now if I click on connect, there it goes. Okay. Okay. So what we can do now is if we go under control, this, for example, if I had the printer powered on, I'd be able to do all those jog controls that you saw previously on Simplify 3D, as well as on prompter face. So a lot of similarities on what these things can do. The other thing that we're looking for, because the big question was sending commands, that would be done here under terminal. And as you can see, this one is also sending out messages every couple of seconds. So what I could do is I could suppress some of these, or uh, here we go. And what I can do is I can type M501. And as I scroll back through here, there I go. I have all my setting information from the printer. Okay, so there's three ways you can do it. Printerface, which is free. Simplify 3D, that's paid software, but you know what? For a lot of us think it's worth it, and you know what? That machine control panel is very, very handy, so it might be worth it to you. Uh, and then I mentioned Octoprint. Chances are, if you're running Octoprint, you know how to do all this stuff anyway. But I just wanted to make sure that if someone's thinking about doing Octoprint in the future, another perk with that is that you have all those features built into it. So, something to think of. All right, so that's our video for today. I just wanted to say thanks for watching. I'm noticing some steady increases in subscribers and views and watch time and all those metrics that YouTube keeps track of. It looks like we're on the rise. I like it. I appreciate your feedback. If you have suggestions, let me know. 
Uh, I'm gonna wrap it up here and just say thank you for watching and remember, this is where nerdy is cool.